Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with a train. And I have just started the second chapter of the Middle East quest, which wants me to go to Damascus, where I'm tra trying to hunt down a guy named Blackwell, who has discovered teleportation devices. I also have a load of cars to upgrade, and I'm coming into Beirut currently. I sent it, my train to Beirut because I knew Damascus was right next to it. So we'll head to Damascus. My train is now very different looking from the last episode. And once I hit daylight, which is coming very shortly, I will show off the new cars and then upgrade a load of them. Of course, I'm going to have to delay getting to Damascus because someone put a big rock in the way. Typical. probably could do with changing my engine. This one's been on my train for quite a while now. I'd forgotten about it. But there's at least one more car that I want to put on my train, which is sat in my mass reserve of cars. Although I have got a, bit of a lot of duplicates. Ah, here we go with the story. Uh, Monica, Justin has decoded the book and is ready to meet with us. Nika, this is exciting. I hope the book can shed some light on why Blackwell wanted it in the first place. Okay. Now I'm going back to Islamabad. I seem to be going to Islamabad rather a lot. But what the heck? I'm in the Middle East. Islamabad isn't that far away, so I'll set the marker and head in that general direction. Yes, as I was saying, I did sell a lot of my duplicate cars. Uh, at one point I had 36 pages of cars, now I'm down to 26, which means I've got approximately 260 cars, which means I still have some duplicates, because I haven't managed to sort through them all yet. This is a time-consuming little task, but I am getting there. Right, so now my train at the front has the wonderful Megalotron, or Megalotran car, which is about to upgrade to level 2. Oh, let's get through our man. Followed by the koala cuddles car, because there's two koalas cuddling in a tree on top of it. Which is also about to upgrade to level 2, very, very shortly. Followed by the submarine sandwich car, which is also about to upgrade to level 2 very shortly. And the wonderful Zep car, which I can upgrade now. That is what the Zep car looks like, fully upgraded. And the wonderful Independence Day car, which can now upgrade to level 2. Don't think that changed very much. No, nope, not even the fireworks on it changed. Okay, the two cars at the front are now ready for upgrading. Oops. Let's get the money out of them first. Let's see if this shark gets any bigger. Oh yes, this shark got bigger. That's a big shark, and I'm assuming it's going to get even bigger when it upgrades to level 3. And the koala car... Not sure exactly what that did. And now the wonderful submarine sandwich car. Oh, forgot to upgrade it. Collected the money, didn't upgrade it. Okay, it's got different ingredients in the sandwich. I have a hippo car. Next, also close to upgrading, the hippo pen car. The cat bus car and the playground car were on my train before and they've got a long way to go before they upgrade. The park car. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, that's a slightly prettier park. The Jeet Kune Do Dojo car. Costing me 44000 to upgrade that. And it really didn't change enough to make it worthwhile as far as I'm concerned. Finally, the apiary car. I say finally. That's got a lot more beehive boxes. And there's the arc car at the back, which is also ready to be upgraded to its next level. Just collect whatever cash is in the caboose. Right, so one of the things I said, I there is at least one car I want to put on my train. 
shouldn't be too far down the list. There it is, the train tube car. So I'll replace the park car with the train tube car. Sorry, the Titan tube car. And well, the tuba car is depending on... Its full name is apparently the tuba car. It's going to take a long time to upgrade, but it looks like one huge TV screen. It is an entertainment car. Okay, we'll go through Basra. Let me zoom out a bit. How far away is Islamabad? Oh, about four stops up the line. Okay, they're not exactly short little stops or short little bits of track. As you can see, I haven't got made much money since the last episode, maybe a million or two. But, doesn't mean I won't mess around with the gumball machine. Why? Because I have, whatever it is, 20 cars to find, tops. I don't know if I'll, I will find them all before I get to the end of this game. But, I'll give it a shot. Ah, and that's a new one. The Nuts and Bolts Dynaka. Nice. That's going on my train pretty shortly. Another cryo car. I've got one of those on my train currently, I believe. If not, I've just replaced it relatively recently. Uh, 20s Dyna car. I've already got one of those. I've got one new car to play with. It's going to... Uh, let's see. I upgraded... That car... That car, that's a cargo car. Right. So let me find the wonderful new car I got. The nuts and bolts something. around here somewhere. There it is. You go replace that one. For now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Because you're a money generating car, so I want you. Yeah, I want you there. Missed. That was not what I intended, but let me just correct that little mistake. Right. Plus four food. It's open from eight to eight. And it's going to take a lot of time to upgrade. But now I have six cars at the front of my train that generate a little bit of cash. Which is the number I like to have. And they've all got a ways to go before they upgrade. Well, apart from the Zep car, actually, which has just upgraded to level 3, it's the maximum level, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. It may stay on till the end of this episode. I will probably... there were a couple of other cars I upgraded to level 3, not you, not you. Uh, oh, that's the cryo car I've got on my train. Oh, okay, the hippo car when I want to upgrade. What's it doing back there? I must have moved it by accident. There again, it is a cargo car. Oh, it's got a little baby hippo in it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this car could well be getting replaced with one of the other cars that I haven't used before. However, we'll see that probably not during this episode. I will get through this next station and then I'll go back to the gumball machine and see if I can get lucky again and find any any more new cars that I've never seen before. Oh, whilst I'm at Herat, I will sell all the stuff that's on my train that's cargo because I don't need any of it and then depart. Now I've got a 400 mile trip to Kabul. 
A military transporter. Oh, it's the one with the tank on it. I've noticed the silhouette, but didn't know what it was actually called. Well, okay, I'm feeling lucky. Summer camping car. I've had two or three of those. Well, three or four of those, actually. Spare parts car. Okay, I'm doing well at knocking this stuff out. It's a cargo car, and it's got a lot of, well, spare parts on it. I was going to say junk, but to some people it's junk. To other people it's spare parts. A bulk food market car. I just took one of those off my train after the last episode, I think. Or the episode before. And a Coffin Express car. That's about the fourth one of those I've had. Well, I'm down to less than 20 million in the bank. And there's an obstacle in the way. A Pine Lodge car. Cool, another new car. So, with the wonders of... That I've now got down to 16 cars to find. As I scroll down this wonderful screen, and you can see all these cars are filled in until I get plus a military transport car down to this windmill looking silhouette. And there's a few others. And then you get towards the bottom of the page before you find. Don't know what number 94 or 106 are, they look interesting. And there's a few more below that, but that one looks like it's got washing on the line. Now, oh, on our way to Islam Islamabad to meet Justin. So whilst I'm on my way to Islamabad, I will see how many more duplicates I can pick up. Oh, OK, I've got a werewolf forest car. Plus five comfort when equipped during the night. I wouldn't be that comfortable at the night with werewolves, but each to their own, I guess. Steampunk car. I just sold a couple of those because I had so many duplicates of them. Golden steam car. A poly car. Time for one more before I talk to Justin. And a forest ruins car. Yep. So, apart from the werewolf car, I wasn't overly lucky there. Here we go at Islamabad. Justin! Good, you're all here. Come sit. This book was an amazing read. Nika, give us the layman's version of the book, please. Justin, this book is book one of three. The codes in the book are a formula. Nika, what is the formula for? Justin, it's vague without the other books, but we can assume it can fuse items with the ability to teleport. Nika, we need to find the other books before Blackwell. What are the names of these books? Justin, the second book is called the Book of Scientia, and the third book, the Book of Mortem. There are some rare... these are some rare books too. I've never seen them, only heard about them in passing. Monica, looks like we'll need Julian's help again. I'll arrange another meeting. Oh boy. Justin, when you get a hold of the, the books, bring them to me so I can translate them right away. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to go find Julian again, who is in Rome. It's going to take me a little while to get to Rome. Because Rome's over that general direction. Well, at least I am as part of the Middle East quest, going backwards and forwards through the Middle East. Which is at least something. It's not like it's sending me to the middle of Russia. At least not yet. Probably a good time to give my train a clean and maintenance. So it looks like I'm going to find another two books. And I won't know where those books are until such time as I meet Julian who can tell me. Well, got money to spend and a gumball machine to play with. And a chip wagon car. 
I like the chip wagon car because it has different toppings or different condiments used. However, I didn't want two in a row. Especially as I already have one. Or possibly two. Kiwi pen, I've got at least one of those if not two. A rebel yell car, yep, I've got at least one of those. Twenties passenger car. Looks like I've had my luck for the for now in getting cars I haven't seen before. Another car I like, the Mount Vesuvius car, but I've already got one. Nacho Hut car, I've got at least two of those. Seeing I haven't sold the duplicate. Another pizza car, I just sold about three of those to be honest. The Zep, well I've got one of those on my train, it's currently hidden by the gumball machine, but I've got one. The Beach Watch car. Okay, well, that's a new car that I haven't seen before. And that's a good point to stop playing with the gumball machine and spending all my money. Night time is coming, by the looks of it. And that's going to take me a while to get to Rome. That looks like I'm going to have to do some more clearing out of cars, etc. Or duplicates. But I am now on Middle East Chapter 2-3. I don't know how many chapters there are in the Middle East Chapter. Because I have no indication of when the end is coming. But I'm guessing probably at least three chapters. Because that's the way it normally has worked up to this point. And once I get through them, I will have done all the cargo, all the story, and I will have found most of the things that there are to find in this game. I don't know, as I said, I don't know if I'm going to get to all the cars, because getting the last few may be a long-term challenge. But, we'll see how it goes. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for some more tiny rails in the near future. Cheerio!